to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. I decided to do some butter beer cupcakes inspired by Harry Potter. So this is what the cupcakes look like. I tried to replicate the drink into a cupcake. So I did a butterscotch cake with a butterscotch type of icing with some toffee bits and then on top some whipped cream and then I also drizzled some butterscotch all over the cupcake. These are so good y'all. I think you're gonna love them and if you love Harry Potter you're really gonna appreciate these cupcakes. I know a lot of people love Harry Potter and I know a ton of people love the butter beer and what a cute drink to replicate. This was so much fun. If you guys want to learn and watch how I made these butterscotch toffee butter beer Harry Potter cupcakes then please keep watching. So to start off, I'm just gonna mix my dry ingredients together, starting with two cups of flour, along with one cup of light brown sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna whisk that all together until combined. Next up, I'm going to start with my wet ingredients, and I'm going to mix together three eggs, along with a half a cup of vegetable oil, and then a teaspoon of imitation butter extract and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I found my butter extract at Publix. Then I'm just going to add a half a cup of buttermilk to that and I'm going to mix that with my whisk attachment on medium speed until combined. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of my dry ingredients along with half a cup of cream soda. I'm going to be adding a little bit of my dry and then a little bit of the cream soda back and forth until both of those are completely combined to our wet ingredients. Then I'm just going to scrape down the sides of my bowl and add a cup of toffee bits to this and then mix those in just using my spatula. Then I'm just going to fill my cupcake liners about two thirds way full and I'm going to bake those for about 18 to 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While that's baking we can start our bottom layer of icing. I'm just going to be adding three teaspoons of heavy whipping cream along with two cups of butterscotch chips and I'm going to pop that into the microwave until it's completely melted. So then in my sand mixer, I'm just going to cream together two sticks of softened butter. And then to that, I'm going to be adding five cups of powdered sugar. And I'm just going to be adding about a cup at a time until I get to my right consistency. And then I'm just going to add in one teaspoon of my butter extract. Then just to make it a little bit smoother, I'm just going to be adding a third cup of cream soda to this. And I'm going to mix that all together until combined. You can keep adding your powdered sugar until it gets to your desired consistency. I'm just going to be beating this on a high speed so that it gets light and fluffy. And then lastly, I'm going to be adding in that melted butterscotch mixture that we melted in the microwave. And once that's combined into my powdered sugar mixture, I'm gonna scrape down the sides of the bowls and I actually did need a little bit more powdered sugar just to make it exactly how I wanted it. Then I'm just going to be piping a very low type of swirl with my round circle tip. And once those are piped on, I'm gonna pop them into the fridge for about 15 minutes. After those have chilled for 15 minutes, I'm just going to drizzle my butterscotch drizzle on top of this. I just use the Smucker's butterscotch drizzle, and then again, you're gonna wanna pop those back into the fridge for another 15 minutes. Then lastly, for the topping of our cupcakes, I'm just going to be whisking together two cups of my heavy whipping cream, and you'll know when this is done, it gets a lot more thick than how it started. As you can see, it is already thickening, and then it's gonna look like that. And then you're just gonna wanna add in about a half a cup of powdered sugar to that and just mix on a very, very low speed until it's all combined and that's it. 
You're just gonna wanna add your whipped cream topping to your cupcakes, and this is what makes it really look like that butter beer. I think that these are so adorable, and I really hope that you guys try them. And that's all there is to these butterbeer cupcakes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. These were so much fun to make and they have so much flavor and just such fun taste to it. I think that you guys are really gonna like it because it's very different. If you guys have any friends or family who love Harry Potter, this is the perfect cupcake for them. I hope that you guys make this and if you do, please let me know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. And also if you make them, please show me, I would love to see. For all my ingredients, they will be in the description box down below. So thanks again for watching this video and I really hope that I see you guys in my next one. Bye!